Hi, this is uh, Jeff. I'm going to show you some of the um, functions on Arcus. Uh, we're going to start with order management for a telephone order and nursing order entry. So we'll begin with a nursing order entry. Click up here, order entry. You're not going to have to put any author in because it's a direct order coming from the nurse. Click OK. Click for the search. And for this one, we're going to order, for example, a post fall assessment. So you would search for fall. Put the dash to search for anything with that starts with these four letters. And hit search. And we come up with the immediate post fall assessment. So we double click to order it. Click OK. And then on the top, you'll see your order will come out under the order entry. When you're finished ordering, <clears throat> you can go to order summary and then accept order. Your orders will be up on the top. Click the accept order button. That's for the nurse ordering order entry. For the telephone order, go to the telephone written orders. For this one, you're going to have to choose the doctor that ordered the test. So for our example, we'll just go for the doctor that's here. Highlight his name, click OK. Click OK down on the bottom. And it's basically the same. You go to the search tab, and for example, we're going to order a CBC. So we would look for CBC. Again, the dash, and then the search button. So we're going to pick CBC, double click. And when you get to this screen, just ignore it and hit OK. The problem list is for the doctor to fill out. So go to OK. And we'll order it for tomorrow morning. You can double click. All right, let's go back here. We'll do it for tomorrow. I put by accident hit today, so we have to do tomorrow morning. So the screen is going to come up. It's going to show you the date, tomorrow, the time, specimen, lab to collect, who ordered it. You have to read back the order and then hit OK. So just like before, the order will come out on the order entry on the top. You go to the order summary after you're finished and then accept the order. Now for both of those orders, after you're done, you have to go to your inbox, refresh it, and then you're going to see both of your orders will be here. Highlight the orders. You see your CBC, the post fall assessment, select all, and then sign in review. Okay, let's go back to our little house, and then let's go to the INO. For the INO, you basically only will be using two uh, functions. The INO display will give you an up-to-date um, display of the date and what the INO balance is up to this time. Unfortunately, we don't have anything right now, so we're going to add something in. Go to the intake and output. The time that it was done, we'll do it now. Hit OK. So we're going to do um, some PO intake. Document oral intake, amount, let's say 900. Hit OK. It's going to ask you the type. It's not required, but we'll put it in. We'll say clear liquid. So we did this, let's say, for example, at the end of the shift. And hit OK. And document another one, no. We'll hit OK. And hit OK again. And we'll do accept. Okay, so now when we go to the INO display, we have our PO intake and the balance. And if you do the same for an output, it will put it here and it will automatically give you the balance. Okay, next thing I'd like to show you is the diagnostic report tab is down here. Unfortunately for this patient, we don't have any test results, 
but what would happen for example if it would give you the date the time let's say for example they had a 2d echo and then you would go here where it says reports or chest x-ray you go to reports click on that and then the report will show up okay so let's go to the little house and let me show you specimen collection this is not for the lab collection this is if the nurse had to collect something so I had ordered before on this patient a respiratory so unfortunately there is no printer associated with this computer if there was you would see on the bottom a tab that says collect and print now when you click that your specimen name will come up on the top double click that specimen name and then it'll go through it'll go through the um, process of putting who collected it what time uh, unfortunately we don't have a printer so I can't show that to you but it will show up in this screen okay so let's continue now with the SBAR handoff here if you go to the little house you go to SBAR handoff these tabs are where you're supposed to give report from it will give you all the information from the pa for the patient admission date phone number code status religion um, you can click on health history and it will give you all the histories allergies when they're entered date that they were immunized um, any home meds that are st stored in the pharmacy patient care information will go through all isolation diet hearing any NPO any oxygen shift review it will give you the admission weight and the most recent weight and height Braden score, chest pain if there was any, um, same thing with activity level, and clinical data. We'll go through the most recent labs. Also on the right hand side you can go to the order list which is the order history so you can check what was ordered on the patient. If there's any conditional orders they'll be in this tab over here and reminders is like a nurse to nurse um, reminder to do something specific for the patient okay. on the top here we have a new tab called family health history family health history has to be entered when a patient gets admitted for example you will go to add relationship so in our example let's say the patient's father has hypertension so we do biological father remember this is only biological because it's a family health history go to biological father it'll automatically put in the the gender uh, we can put in the date if you're not sure about the date you can put in one of those one of these uh, squiggly lines and it'll give you um, a range, not a range, but it'll give you an estimate of when the birth date was. If you know exactly when the birth date was or the age, you can put it in. Okay, so we add, go to the bottom, add health history. So we want to do hypertension, right? It's going to give all the problems associated with hypertension so for this example we'll do hypertension secondary to kidney transplant double click notice it comes up on the other screen under the new health history so under type we want to do disease or finding basically what it is is it chronic or acute so in this case we'll do chronic and you want to do if it's active or inactive so we'll do active because it's he still has the problem it's just a chronic problem the age that the person was diagnosed we'll say he was diagnosed at 40 or you could do unknown and it'll change to unknown click add and it's come up on the health history don't forget always to press accept uh, it's the most important thing otherwise your information will not be saved and you can always come back to this tab and add another person
Last thing I'd like to show you is the current summary under the patient shortcut. It's right here. Current summary will give you a um, ongoing flow sheet of results for the patient. For example, before we couldn't print out the label for the sputum culture, but here's my order. It's scheduled. It wasn't sent yet, and the any um, results will be in the abnormal section. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, everything could be found under the patient's shortcut or click on the little house. And you have the tabs on the top that basically will direct you anywhere you want to go.